This studio at the Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne is special. It's where some teachers come to record their course to make it available on the internet. It's an amazing development. When I started teaching, I had 20 to 30 students. But here with me, I could have 50,000 students. It's a tsunami. This new type of training is called MOOCs, online courses that are free and open to everyone. The EPFL hopes to offer 20 courses in the next two years. Its director has even taken a six-month sabbatical to train on the system. It's important that these courses don't all just come from the United States. Universities like EPFL, with its European style, should be involved in the development of this new knowledge. Overseas, many universities engage in this kind of online education, which originated in California. This is Coursera's headquarters. With two million participating students, it is the most developed online platform. Andrew and Daphne launched this startup over a year ago with the goal of uniting the world's most prestigious schools on the same platform. So our partners are using our technology to ask students to watch the videos at home, thus preserving the classroom time for more of these professor students and student-student interactions, which I think is the real value of attending a top school. And my course is on genetics and evolution. More than 30 renowned universities offer lectures through Coursera. I'm a professor at Princeton University. It's a way to gain visibility. But democratizing education is a big gamble, and the success of these platforms is far from guaranteed. Firstly, because their funding remains uncertain, but also because it's not clear what credit the certificate they issue will have. Some of the universities allow their brand to be used in the certificate, others do not, and I think it's kind of a situation where the ecosystem is converging to somewhere and we don't exactly know where to end up. Harvard and MIT have also launched their own platforms. In the long run, investing in free online lectures could mean more potential students and talent.